People would say that Oksana G is an opera about human trafficking. I would say it's an opera about a person who ends up inside the world of human trafficking. It's kind of the, the story of a phoenix, um, Oksana's fall and her rebirth in Out of Flames. The original title of this opera is The Enslavement and Liberation of Oksana G. And it's constructed in classic, tragic style. I immediately checked back for a Ukrainian last name in the librettist. Colleen Murphy doesn't write about issues, she writes about people and their situations and their relationships. And that's what you get in the world of Oxygen. Play 80. I must see Oxana get out. So it's both these rising seconds, but yours says something way different. This is the biggest opera that Tapestry has done in, in years. We're really privileged in Toronto to be able to work with them, some of the best singers in Canada. It's a great cast. I've, I've worked with most of them before, and uh, it's a real pleasure to be back with a lot of them. And those who I haven't met before, um, man, everybody is exceptionally well prepared. It's kind of amazing to put together this many fantastic specialists. Um, in one show to create a team that I believe is going to create a really, really interesting world for you. Maybe you want to change it. I heard about Oksana G about four years ago, but I never looked at the score. And then I, I wanted to offer myself as a, an understudy. We actually auditioned her to be the understudy to Oksana. And not only had our Oksana just recently backed out, but she blew me away. Then next morning, Michael called me and he offered me and I was just terrified and shocked and excited. I could tell that she was ready to join the pros, as it were. She's, she was ready to, to take on something like this. She has a lot of integrity as a person. She has so many of the right qualities and she had the language. I'm incredibly excited to see how Natalia um, brings Oksana to life. And uh, I, think, I think Toronto's gonna be impressed. People come to me and they say, Tom is the most amazing director, and it's because he's always had the right approach to bring out um, what I think are incredibly personal and interesting performances in singers. There are two kinds of opera directors that you would meet in the world. They're kind of like sculptors. A sculptor will look at a rock and go, I'm gonna turn that rock into a bird. Another sculptor will look at the rock and go, I'm going to get my chisel and find out what's inside that rock. I'm of the second kind. Conductors are always looking for stage directors that, that feel music, that, that, that direct music, and in that way, Tom's a gift. He really wants to go on a discovery uh, to find out what these characters really feel in that moment. I want to know what's inside my score. So I don't apply things onto the music. I find out what's inside there and work to bring it out. I've been working on this opera from the very beginning. I've been working with Colleen Murphy and Aaron Gervais and developing this piece. Dark though it is, uh, I think with this team we've had an amazing chance to kind of discover all kinds of sides of humanity that we normally don't. <laughs> you know, that kind of stay out of our periphery. I direct a lot of operas, and it's not every day that you get to do a project that has some intrinsic meaning in the world as we see it right now. This is an important event. I smell